this is a topic that I decided to make an entire video for. I didn't really mention it in my other videos because this is such a departure from what is normal. Heck, what is normal within previous Teslas. And that is the gear selector in this car, the 2021 Model S Long Range. But there are no stocks coming off of the steering column here. So how, how do you... How do you put the car into gear? How do you how do you how do you move it? The most obvious, which is not really obvious at first, is this little space here on the left edge of the central screen. Um, you'll see the car with a arrow in front of it. That's indicating that we are currently in drive. So we're going forward, and that, that goes away once you start moving. So come to a stop. When you hold down the brake. The tap to part becomes available up there. So instead of hitting like on the Model 3, you would tap a button on the end of the stock to go into park. On this car, you just tap that button there while the brake is down, and now we're in park. So this this is a cool feature. This this is the beta feature that I talked about in my other video on, on the interior. Um, this is a beta feature called Auto Shift Out of Park, and what that does is when you buckle up, you get on the car, you. You buckle up, it knows you're ready to go. So you don't have to flick it up. You just tap the brake pedal and we're ready to move. And then if we're up against an obstacle, let's say this, this dumpster just parked here. Let's put it in park. I just got in the car, I'm ready to go. And it wants to drive into the dumpster. Okay, that's that's a bit of a fail there. All right, let's let's try it again. Let's let's actually park against the building, like like a normal person would. There's our okay. Let's park, and now it knows the only way out is back. So, tap the brake pedal, and away we go. Pretty cool. And then of course, like I just showed, you can select your direction manually by swiping up or down along this left edge of the screen. Um, another way to do it, so there actually are buttons right here. You can't always really see them, but they're not illuminated. You push way hard, it should illuminate. There it is. There. I had to push it pretty hard there. I guess we're too far away from the wall, so it doesn't know which way we actually want to go. But we can use the this little cluster here on the center console. So let's put it in reverse. It takes quite a bit of force. And then D is all the way over. You can't just rest your thumb on it. Actually, you can. Huh. Interesting. So now we're in neutral. We are rolling backward. So this is the only way to get into neutral, um, aside from tapping into the quick, quick commands and hitting the neutral button there. Um, neutral isn't available on the slider. Oh, and then you have to actually hold it down. You can't just tap into neutral. That's actually a nice safety feature. Say your your passenger just taps that accidentally. You don't go rolling away. That's pretty pretty well thought through. So these are kind of out of the way compared to just swiping on the screen. I think this is just more of a backup. Let's say for example, uh, you happen to reset your car while you're driving on the highway or 
not on, not on the highway. So you have to reset the car while you're in a parking lot like this. Um, the gear selector on the screen is gone. So what, what do you do? You gotta stop the car. Um, you can actually use these buttons while the screen is rebooting. There you have it. That is how you choose your direction in the refreshed Model S for 2021.